Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. If you follow my channel, you know that last week I did a couple videos demonstrating how to create the Orton effect. One of the videos I demonstrated how to do it in Lightroom, and in another video I demonstrated how to do it in Photoshop. After that video posted, someone emailed me asking me if I could demonstrate how to get the dragon effect. For those of you not familiar with this effect, it was popularized by a Polish photographer named Andrzej Dragon. Um, it is a real kind of graphic, gritty effect that in my opinion is best applied to older men. Uh, in this case, like a grizzled cowboy. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it in Photoshop. I'm not sure if you could do it in Lightroom. I don't think you can, but I'm going to investigate that a little further and see if there's a way you could get a similar look in Lightroom. And if there is, I'll do a video on that in the future. But as far as Photoshop is concerned, like most things in Photoshop, there's several different ways to do it. I'm going to show you one way, my way. Now, we start out, we have this image in Photoshop. What you need to do is duplicate the background layer. On a Mac, hit Command-J. On a PC, Control-J. Now you need to desaturate this new layer. To do that on a Mac, it's Shift-Command-U. On a PC, it's Shift-Control-U. Now we have this desaturated layer. Now you need to duplicate the desaturated layer. Hit Command or Control-J to do that. Now, what I recommend you do, this is optional, is that for this new top layer that's desaturated, make it a smart object. That way, for the next adjustment we're going to be doing, you'll be able to come in and readjust it. If you don't make this a smart object, you won't be able to go back in and readjust it. So to make it a smart object, just right click right on it and go to convert to smart object. All right now we have our smart object. Now, take this layer and um, change the blend mode. So we're going to go up here to this drop down and we're going to change the blend mode to vivid light. And you can see once we do that, we have this real kind of grif gritty graphic looking image. Now, that adjustment I mentioned, it's going to be a type of sharpening. So to do that, we're going to go up to filter, down to other, and over to high pass. And when you do that, you can see right away, it, in my opinion, improved the image, made it look a lot better. Now, as far as the radius is concerned, this really is up to your personal taste, and it really will vary depending on the resolution of your image. In this case, I could keep it relatively high. I could bring it down a little bit, make it real high. Um, in this case here, let's bring it down to maybe like, I don't know, 12 pixels. That looks pretty good. So we're going to click OK. Now, because this was a smart object or is a smart object, I could just double click on the words high pass and come in and readjust this if I want to. That's why we, I made that a smart object. All right, so we have this smart object. We're looking at the image. If you like the image here at this point, you know, as a black and white, really kind of high definition look to the guy's face, by all means, stop here. Now, the next step, though, to further along our dragon effect is to take the top two layers and put them in a group. To do that, click on one, hold the Command or Control key on, and click on that other one. So we have the top two layers selected. Go down at the bottom and click on the little folder. So now we have them in a group. Now right now, if you look at the blend mode of the group, it says Pass Through. Change that to Overlay. And you can see now we have that kind of dragon look. Now you could stop here. Uh, sometimes at this point, though, though, there are two adjustments you may want to make. One is, um, if it's too light or too dark, what you could do is go up and get a levels adjustment layer and go to this middle slider right here and move it to the right to make it a little darker if you want, or move it to left to make it a little lighter. So you could do that to just give it a little fine tuning. Also, some people like this look to be a little bit desaturated. So if you want to do that as well, come and get a U saturation adjustment layer. And what you're going to want to do is, is go to this drop down where it says master and put it on reds. Then what you'll do is grab uh, either this far left eyedropper or the middle eyedropper. They'll do the same thing. Click on it and click on the person's face somewhere. Now, not a real dark part of the face and not a highlight part of the face, something that's more in the middle. 
and just click. And what it will do is it will adjust the slider so that you're going to be affecting those exact hues. Once you do that, you could come in and desaturate it with the saturation slider. You could see how I'm pulling saturation out of the man's face. Or maybe you want to add saturation. It's really up to you. Uh, there's no really written rule here. But that's pretty much the dragon effect uh, done in Photoshop in a way that I think is most efficient to do it. Some people also like to do some dodging and burning at this point. If you'd like to do that as well, what you want to do is put a stamped layer on top. And to do that, I use the keyboard shortcut on my Mac, Shift, Option, Command, E. Uh, if you have a PC, that's Shift, Alt, Control, E. And then you have this stamped layer. Then you could come in and you could get the uh, Dodge and Burn tools. And you could come in and dodge and burn uh, where you want. So you would burn in an area that you want it to be darker, like right in here. Also, you probably usually have the exposure set relatively low. You're going to be burning midtones. And then you could build up the effect. So you're not coming in at 100%. I'm coming in at 10%. So you can make parts darker that you want darker. Then you could go back over here and get the dodge tool and make parts lighter that you want lighter, like his eye maybe, and his eye over here. And again, you keep that exposure relatively low, so you're building up the effect. You're not coming in at 100% right away. Just come in, and you could, you know, dodge and burn to taste, as they say. So that's the dragon effect in Photoshop. Let me know in the comments section below. Is this an effect you like? Uh, is it something that you would use? Thank you, everyone, for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.